this afternoon. Michael Landon will walk the highway to heaven once more at two o'clock. Now, the news comes from ITN at one o'clock. <laughs> The man charged with the Milltown Cemetery murders faces 38 charges. The Cabinet hears details of the Chancellor's spending plans he'll announce this afternoon. The South African government shuts down a leading opposition newspaper. And the television industry gets a taste of its own medicine for a day. <laughs> Hi, I'm Grace Bailey. Welcome to LS3, which is a brand new magazine program that's going to be coming to your screens featuring music, fashion, entertainment of all kinds, and no boring studios for us. We're going to be out on the road bringing you the program from a different, interesting location every week. Unfortunately, though, those boring old household jobs have still got to get done, and if I don't do any washing today, I'll have nothing to wear for next week. So I've asked a few people to meet me here. This soap opera, easily the hippest laundrette I've ever been to. It's got high-tech machines, a coffee bar, even videos where you can watch your favourite soaps. Which is just as well, because I'm a bit of a soap fanatic myself. As you can see from this rather tasteful jumper a friend has made for me. But if you think I'm bad, there's someone else here who's an even bigger soap fan than I am. Hi, Chris. Hi, Grace. Now, you've put together a compendium of all the popular TV soaps. What's prompted you to write the book? Well, there was never a book featuring all of the soaps mm. and like most people I like one or two of the soaps so I thought now was the time. All oh, right. and where does the label soap opera actually come from? It comes from America and in the 40s and 50s most of the, the drama was on radio mm -hmm. and when television became very popular in the f late 50s they transferred to TV and the name soap opera stuck because people like Procter and Gamble and Lever Brothers sponsored these programs. I see, right. Now, I mean, over the past two, three years, soaps have really taken off in this country. Right. What do you think the appeal is? I think it's escapism. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all like to escape, don't we? And, I mean, to some people, this is glamorous. Being here, being filmed is very glamorous. <laughs> right. but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yorkshire TV coffee. <laughs> right. But, I mean, when we go home and sit down and watch TV, we're getting away from our problems and watching someone else's. Yeah. And with the American soaps, we're, we're pretending we're glamorous and drinking champagne and... Things like that. So come on then, give me some of the latest gossip because right. you must know what's going right. on. What do you want, neighbours first? Neighbours, neighbours. Yes. Well, Charlene and Scott get married. Oh yeah, we know that. Yeah. Well, after they're married and living happily ever after, Scott has an affair with plain Jane <gasps> Superbrain. Joking. Nope. She turns into a right little temptress. Then, to retaliate, Charlene has an affair with the mechanic. Sweet little Charlene. Sweet little Charlene. Oh my God. But they go off to Queensland to patch up their problems. And only he comes back, I'm afraid. Oh no. Yep. So what is anything happening in EastEnders? EastEnders or Collins leaving, but I'm not sure yeah, how. Well. 